What's up y'all? Scarby here with day 13 of my playthrough of King's Quest 6. This is day 67 of my 100 days of gaming. So I think that there are at least at least two endings, so that's probably what I'm going to go for. And we are well on our way to probably the more difficult ending, and quote, better ending. Um, but I, I wanted to play both, but I didn't want to play all the way through that and then go back and do the easier ending. Because I have a feeling the easier ending means that you don't go back and save Kasima's parents. So I would feel personally like I killed her parents again or just flat out erased to them, which isn't any better. <laughs> So before I complete the better ending, I wanted to go back and try to do the simpler ending. And all I know is that I needed, I need to have, I, I, I sent the white rose to Kasima. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not for this one. Uh, just like, I don't know if I was supposed to send it when I did for the difficult ending. I may, I may have screwed that up. I don't know, but I, I'm supposed to have the servant girl robes, and I think I'm supposed to have the nightingale. So I'm going to go back and get the nightingale. Oh, and then I think I'm supposed to trade for the, this guy, but get the one that looks like... Let's go ahead and do that. Um. There's no reason to use that there. Old lamp! No, I know. No, old lamp's for new. Excuse me, peddler, but I have an old lamp that might interest you. <gasps> ah, an old lamp, and what a <laughs> nice traditional design, too. <laughs> Take your pick of my new lamps. Okay, this is one that we want. Ah, a fine choice, my son. Here is your new lamp. Good day, and I thank you, sir. Good day. That's so weird. And I ain't your son. I have the crown, so yes, we're just gonna watch him go. <laughs> Drat! Another dud! Sorry, Boo, I already checked that one. Okay, we're gonna go here and get the nightingale. Good day, Prince Alexander. Hi! What do I need to trade? The paintbrush. Let's trade the paintbrush. The pawn shop is. There you go. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. Right, I'm pretty sure I need the nightingale. That mechanical nightingale looks intriguing. I believe I'll take it. Very good, Prince Alex. It is always a pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy the mechanical nightingale and feel free to bring it back anytime. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, time to go. And I think now we will go to the castle. Pretty sure. Well, let's save first. Save. Oh, were we on day 13 or day 12? No, okay, we we're day 13, I forgot. Uh. Oh, no more saved games. Okay, we can delete. We can delete this one. I'm surprised we ran out of saved games. Day 13. Easy ending. Actually, I shouldn't be surprised. Because um, every other game is capped it. I'm just, I, I just, it kept going. So I thought that it would just keep going. Oh, well. Did I just- I just moonwalked down the path. Did anybody else see that? A group of serving women approached the castle. I moonwalked down ah, the path. Ah, woof! More serving women! The castle staff is certainly busy today! Ah, 
right, Gruff. Gotta move on there, wenches. There's plenty of work left to do before the wedding. Wenches? Yes, Sergeant Gruff. Those serving wenches are always late. Ooh, that's a hint. So we're gonna go in there and get gussied up. Taking his cue from the serving women he's seen enter the castle, Alexander decides to try a few alterations to make himself more acceptable to the guards. He ducks into the little hut to put on Beauty's clothes. Feeling Gorgeous. a little foolish, Alexander slips Beauty's old slave clothes on over his own. Imagine if Cosima saw him like this. <laughs> you don't well, know, she might be into it. Here we go. <laughs> you there! Girl! You're late! Get a move on before the wazir sees you! Yes! <clears throat> Yes, sir. <laughs> Nicely done. The castle guards lock the main entrance doors behind Alexander. From the open door comes the clatter of pots and pans, yelled Aww. instructions, and other busy kitchen noises. Girl, don't just stand there. There's a stack of silver almost to the ceiling that needs polishing for the wedding. Get a move on! Oh. Phew. I can't afford to get caught up in that mess. I'd never find Cosima. <laughs> Apparently it was the tearaway dress. So we're gonna save again. The place. The place. I'm assuming that this is the main room. We're not supposed to go here yet. So let's, let's go upstairs. See what's up. Whoa, Alexander runs right into a guard dog patrol. Um. I don't know what to do here. Let's see. Um... Alexander walks into the hallway to show the guards the mechanical nightingale. <laughs> Alexander walks into the hallway to show the guards the mechanical nightingale. It's so wrong they had to say it twice. Mike, look at this! Hi. Uh... Nice castle. <laughs> Cheeky, isn't he? Grab him, Jowls. Jowls. I bet this is the foreigner we were told to look out for. Well, let's lock him up and go tell Saladin. He'll tell us what kind of fish we've caught. Right, Jowls. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not... You'll stay in here until we find out what the Wazir wants to do with you. The guard dogs leave Alexander to his fate, locking the door noisily behind them. The sound of running footsteps echoes outside Alexander's cell. What are you doing down here, Shrew? We've already got him locked up. Go back to your post upstairs. Uh, uh, I was here, wanted to know what all the commotion was about. And I told him about the intruder. He told me to post extra guards on this one. Extra guards, huh? So be it. Just as Alexander realizes that he has no possible means of escape, he hears the sound of wedding music playing somewhere in the castle. Confound this dungeon! I'll never be able to stop the wedding now. Oh. Tis a noble thing to have a means of escape, and tis a far, far better thing to never get caught at all. Alright, so that was wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I go up this way? Oh, same problem. 
They're both looking the same direction, though. By Cerebus Collar, I'll be glad when this wedding is over. Bay, I'm getting mighty tired of this patrol. It's wearied me to the bones. I couldn't agree with you more, Wolf. Who'd have thought we'd ever have to listen to Princess Cosima crying all day long and be ordered to ignore it yet? <laughs> Something sticks in my craw about the whole thing. The Wazir says that the Princess is not herself. Says she's half mad with grief over her parents' death. I can see it, the poor might. But still... I agree. It seems cruel to lock her up when she's so heartbroken. Let her out in the fresh air, I say. It'll do her a world of good. I Well, she insisted on the morning period, and it's up today. Thank the stars. It's too bad we couldn't find that nightingale of hers. The wazir says she's been pining for it. <laughs> if I had an ounce of luck, I'd have found it weeks ago. <sighs> Not only would it cheer up the princess, but the reward the wizirs offered for it would make me pretty happy too, doggone it. Aw, oh, well, our luck will definitely be out if the wazir catches a snap in our jaws at our post. Sorry, Wolf. I'll keep my muzzle shut. Okay, so apparently I went to the wrong side. And I don't want to have to listen to all that again, so... So, okay, they just turned around, but maybe I'm supposed to wait until they're at the end of the hallway and then, okay. Nightingale. Alexander walks into the hallway to use the mechanical nightingale. I don't know if Alexander that's... winds the mechanical nightingale and places it strategically on the floor of the upstairs hallway. Please tell me he runs. <laughs> okay. God. The mechanical song echoes in the corridor. Alexander hears the sound of boots pounding as the guard dogs come to investigate. I can't hide. Oh, I think I messed up. I think I was supposed to hide behind the pillar. Hey, look, Wolf. There's a metal bird on the floor, and there's a man in the alcove. <laughs> Hello there. Um, nice painting. Get him, Bay. Dang it. I messed up. Okay. Restore. Okay, I'm supposed to hide behind the pillar. I think. That's... That was my mistake. <sighs> okay. We'll try this again. Alexander walks into the hallway to use the mechanical nightingale. Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale and places it strategically on the floor of the upstairs hallway. Okay, I have this right. The mechanical song echoes in the corridor. Alexander hears the sound of boots pounding as the guard dogs come to investigate. Okay, that should be fine. Hey, look, Wolf. There's a metal bird on the floor, and there's a man in the alcove. Dang alcove. it! Hello there. Um, nice painting. <sighs> Get him, Bay. No, okay, so I'm not supposed to go in the alcove. Why even have that screen? Restore. Okay. So I'm supposed to place it and then run back here, I guess? Alexander walks into the hallway to use the mechanical nightingale. Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale and places it strategically on the floor of the upstairs hallway. All right, let's hide back here. There we go. That should work. The mechanical song echoes in the corridor. Alexander hears the sound of boots pounding as the guard dogs come to investigate.
Look at this, Wolf. A metal bird. Sure is, Faye. How do you suppose a metal bird got in here? You got me, but there's something weird about it. Hey, could this be Cosima's nightingale, do you think? What, you lapdog? The princess's nightingale isn't some tin thing. How do you know? Have you seen it? Well, no, but... I don't know, Bay. Humans can be pretty strange. <laughs> <laughs> With their sense of smell, maybe she wouldn't even know it wasn't real. I say we take it downstairs to Captain Saladin. He'll know what to do with it. What about our post? Jowls and Mite are in the other hallway. They can handle it for five minutes. Think about how happy the princess would be to get her nightingale back. And then there's that reward money and my missus. Right, Wolf. Let's go. The guard dogs spot Alexander on their Damn way it. down the stairs with the mechanical nightingale. Hey, who the... Um, hello there. Don't just stand there, grab him, Bay. What was I supposed to do? Okay. This is hard, and this is supposed to be the easier. Uh, let's try this again. Alexander walks into the hallway to use the mechanical nightingale. Do I just, do I, like, walk hey, out? who the- Ugh. Um, hello there. Don't okay. just stand there. Apparently bad timing. I need to pay more attention. Oh, goodness, this is gonna be difficult. Alexander walks into the hallway to use the mechanical nightingale. Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale and places it strategically on the floor of the upstairs hallway. Of course. I think Captain Saladin is down here, and... Hey, look! An intruder! Grab him! Good God! I'll bet this is the foreign saboteur fellow the Wizir's been ranting on about! Who, me? No, I... I just stopped by from the village for the wedding, and... <laughs> Forget it! Let's take him to the dungeon, Wolf, then go find Captain Saladin. Right, Bay. Maybe this'll make up for that soup bone incident. Okay, so that didn't work either. This is supposed to be the easy ending. Man. Well, let's let's just look in here and see what this is. <laughs> Alexander's walked right into a couple of guard dogs. Look, an early guest. Are you on the bride or the groom's side? That's the foreigner the wazir warned us about. <laughs> Grab him! Uh, okay. Restore. Damn! Um, maybe I'm supposed to duck in that door. It's the only thing I can think of. Alexander walks into the hallway to use the mechanical nightingale. Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale and places it strategically on the floor of the upstairs hallway. Alexander decides to make a try for one of the bedroom doors. 
<laughs> the mechanical song echoes in the corridor. Alexander hears the sound of boots pounding as the guard dogs come to investigate. Why did I hey, go over there? there? Um. <laughs> hello there. Don't just stand that's, there grab him, babe! That's not where the door is. What the... You guys saw that, right? I tried to go for the door up the hallway, and I just walked into the wall. Ugh. Maybe the alcove is correct? I don't know what else to do. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Maybe if I play it over on this side? Whoa! Alexander runs right into a guard dog patrol. No, because they're they're Hold on. I might as well try it. Alexander walks into the hallway no. to use the mechanical nightingale. Ugh. Mike, look at this! My god, why would I walk Hi. in the hallway? Uh, nice castle. Ugh. Cheeky, isn't he? Grab him, Jowls. No. I bet this is the foreigner we- No. Restore. Okay, I have the nightingale. I need to play the nightingale, they need to go for the nightingale, and then I need to hide appropriately. The alcove hasn't worked yet. I'll try the alcove one more time. Maybe, or I'll try the door one Alexander more time. Alexander walks into the hallway to use the mechanical nightingale. Alexander winds the Okay. Alexander decides to make a try for one of the bedroom doors. No, why would, uh why would you walk down there? There's no door down there. There's nowhere to go down there. Ugh, restore. Alexander's stupid. I don't know what to do. We'll try the alcove one more time, and then I might have to give up on this <laughs> for today, because literally I've been trying Alexander the same thing over and over again, the hallway. and it's not working. Alexander There's an alcove right there. The this would make gate. sense, except they see me. strategically on the floor of the upstairs hallway. The mechanical song echoes in the corridor. Alexander hears the sound of boots pounding as the guard dogs come to investigate. Um, that's the only thing, yeah, I should be hidden and I'm not. Hey look, Wolf, <laughs> there's a metal bird on the floor and there's a man in the alcove. Yeah. Hello there. This is stupid. Um, nice painting. Get him, Bay. Okay, no, you know what? Screw it. I'm looking this up. Taking this is, off your yes, I've had it. So this soon. is retarded. I'm just, I have to look this up. BRB. Okay, we're back. I looked it up, and I've been using the walk icon to get behind a pillar, and apparently I need to use the hand icon to go behind the pillar. See, old games, ridiculous difficulty level. This stuff is Alexander ridiculous, walks but into the hallway to use the mechanical nightingale. That's what you're supposed to do. Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale and places it strategically on the floor of the upstairs hallway. I'm assuming I have time. The mechanical song okay. echoes in the corridor. 
Alexander hears the sound of boots pounding as the guard dogs come to investigate. Hands. Alexander ducks behind the pillar. Right, because they can't see me there. <laughs> My god. Look at this, Wolf! A metal bird! Sure is, Faye. How do you suppose a metal bird got in here? You got me, but there's something weird about it. Hey, could this be Cosima's nightingale, do you think? What, you lapdog? The princess's nightingale isn't some tin thing. How do you know? Have you seen it? Well, no, but... I don't know, Bay. Humans can be pretty strange. Hmm. With their sense of smell, maybe she wouldn't even know it wasn't real. I say we take it downstairs to Captain Saladin. He'll know what to do with it. What about our post? Jowls and Mitre are in the other hallway. They can handle it for five minutes. Think about how happy the princess would be to get her nightingale back. And then there's that reward money and my missus. Right, Wolf. Let's go. In case you were wondering about where Bay originated... Alexander hears the guard dog's boots clank noisily on the staircase leading down to the Grand Hall. In case you're wondering where Bay originated, uh, guard dog is Bay. There you go. We are going to save. We're gonna go over another save file. Um, we can we can save over. We can save over day six. That's fine. Replace. And we're going to continue this in the next episode. Hopefully I can finish up the easy ending in another 30 minutes or so. Um, but I'm going to cut this one here because I don't want it to run too long. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Comments are always welcome in the comments section below. Please consider donating to Extra Life. My fundraising page is in the links down below. I would appreciate it. And so would Children's Miracle Network. Hit that like button if you like this video. And I hope to see you back for my next one. Thanks, guys. Bye!